Okay, so that was definitely the most exciting tribal. A little more exciting than I was hoping for, honestly. That plan worked flawlessly. The 2-2-2 two, two, two split that we did to get Luke eliminated for fear that he was going to play his idol, that was insane. Shout out to Jonathan for that. But sure enough, I knew where every single person was voting and we tied it up. And when it was just me and Sarah and Willem going to vote, that was maybe the most fun moment of my uh, time in Survivor so far. Luke and Charlie both did not see it coming at all. I thought Kayla was for sure going home. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy she's still there, but I, I still am not exactly sure what happened. It makes sense, they explained it to me. They didn't feel comfortable taking Luke into the merge because him and Nori are a little too close for comfort. We do not necessarily trust his relationship with Nori. That's partially <laughs> because Nori wound up telling the whole of the tribe that Luke had the idol. I never had anything against Charlie. I completely trusted him. And I, I, I hate that we had to do this move against him because I can't imagine he'll ever really trust me again. Because if Luke did play the idol, then yeah, we wanted to protect well, okay, one of us. That makes yeah. sense. Um, so you were never the target. Gotcha. Like, it was like initially. a fallback. Yeah. But then the fact that they never told me about that, I would have been okay using my name as like a scapegoat essentially, but the fact that they split down the middle and didn't tell me that I was the contingency plan, it makes me a little weary of, uh, of their thoughts on me. Jonathan is worried that he might flip because he's worried that Charlie won't trust him anymore. If there's a chance that uh, I need to split in order to, to get numbers somewhere else, after yesterday's tribal, I would not be opposed to, to jump and ship. since you're up one member, so you guys can talk amongst yourself and decide that. I did, but I'll be. We're sitting Cassandra out. All right, Cassandra is sitting out. Now to go with the theme for this season of Friend or Foe, one person will come up here and we'll go tribe versus tribe, we'll just go every other. 
they will grab something out of the bag and will either say friend or foe. Majority are foe. There's one friend. There's also a chef's choice because I like to have fun. All right, so let's get to it. Who wants to reach in, grab something out? You got it. What does it say? Foe. All right, we have a foe item. We have Jacob going up for Feely and Will going up for Soa. Let's get our first item. First week, I said if we have something gross, I can do this. First item is part of Palm. No, I don't know what it is, but it smells really bad. But boys, you have to eat the whole thing. You have to swallow all the juice liquid in it. You must show me an open mouth, and I have to count to five I, until it counts. If I throw up, does it, it doesn't count. count. Do I hold it? You have to hold everything <laughs> down for five seconds. Right. First item, survivors ready, and go. Both taking a bite by bite, no one's shoving it quite down. Uh, Will's not sure about it. Jacob is just downing it. I know who that is, Will. He's slowing down, Will. Will's not, oh, Will's gagging. We got a first gag of the night. So close. He's taking baby bites. Jacob's going good. quick. Up and down. Put your teeth together. They're trying to try to egg them on, help them out. Looks like they're similar points. All right, Jacob just has to get the liquid down. One, two, three, four, five. Jacob wins the point for Feely. Not Jacob. I'm close. Wait, I'm close. Just behind the Soa. For Soa, we have Paul. Sarah, who wants to pick? So, I get another foe. We have some nice canned. Skipper! All right, survivors ready and go. Plug your nose there, it is. Both hands up the back. Oh, they are shoving it down. Sarah looks very pained. Meredith is gagging. <laughs> Meredith is gagging. Got it, Meredith. Got it down. That's it. Looks very choking. focused. <laughs> Bro, she's struggling. Look at her. See? You got it, Sarah. Just stop. Go, go, go. Sarah looks like she's not sure if she's gonna be able to keep it down. I'm sure. Meredith is also unsure. Much they have left. Meredith only has a little bit left. Sarah has almost all of it gone, just crumbs left in there. You got it. Oh, Sarah. Oh, it really oh, throwed a gag from Meredith. Go, go. 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 Sarah, you got this. Come on, put it down. Come on, follow Oh, you're right there. Oh, come on, Sarah. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Mental edge. Come on, Kayla. Kayla. Oh. Survivors ready? Yeah. And go. It literally goes on hot dogs. So, Leah. Yeah, Leah. Let's go. I have a tiger. Let's go. Don't smell. 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 Don't smell.
Come on. Leah down to main, mainly just the liquid. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, Leah. Leah. Chug, chug it, chug it, chug, 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 chug. You're good, you're good, you're good. Let's go. Whoa. Vomiting right is for there. losers. Right losers right don't vomit. <laughs> Five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> vomit into the cup, then drink that vomit. Come on, you're good. Yep, 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 yep. Open mouth, right, open, open mouth. mouth. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Yeah. 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 Old sausage gravy. Oh, let's freaking go. <laughs> it's my favorite breakfast oh. item right there. What? I could not. How? Yeah. Driver's ready and go. So, Dave. Cool. Oh. Come on, you got it. You got it. Come on. You got it. <laughs> the fact that David's enjoying this so much bothers me a lot. You have all on the table. You have all on your face, all on your hands. Come on, this you got it. Come on, you're so close. Come on, Come on. You're so close. Come on. go fast. Lick that table, Dave. Oh, go on. Feely, we have Jacob. For Soa, we have Charlie. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. Let's see. Got it, All right, I got lucky last time. Boom! All right, it's probably better than the only other option in there, Chef's Choice. You have to down a cup of this, and you must keep it down for five seconds. Survivor's ready, and go! Both boys. Yes, sir, I like that attitude. Good stuff. Give me that protein. Come on, Jacob. Come on. Come on. This is your protein for the night. You don't even need protein you got anymore. The oh, he's he's right a right dog. Now. Let's go. Charlie is. He wants to keep that lead for his try, but it looks yeah. like Charlie might like, tie it up again. Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Oh, you got it. You got it. Jacob, trying to see if he can go faster, but it looks like he can't. Charlie, you got it. You got it, Jacob. Like it's the bologna sandwich. Don't let me almost going up. Go for nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Jacob almost threw up. Come on, Jacob. We both have one chunk left, it looks like. Oh, Jacob. Get that chunk down, Jacob. Throwing up is for losers, Jacob. Come on. Jacob half standing in the grass just in case he needs to. Charlie enjoying his afternoon like a normal. This is so salty, it's awful. You got it, though. See, who can chew faster, though? Sometimes smaller bites are quicker to chew. Let me see your cut. One, two, three, four, five. Point for Charlie. Point for Snow. Tied against three. Charlie's a beast. Nice. Two and zero. Oh. All right. Oh, sorry, sorry. Survivors ready? And go. Let's go. Oh, you should bring us a straight. Whoa. Hold on a minute. That's a wild Whoa, that, that is using the ground. We have baby food, and it is beef pureed with veggies. Yum! Be careful, do not get this all over the ground. <laughs> Be smart about Sarah, getting it in your mouth. I don't like smells. Yeah, it's all about speed right here, Sarah. You. Come on. All right, survivors oh, ready and go. You got it, Sarah. Bo just down and gets. Oh. <laughs> you got it. You got it, you got it Sarah. You, you got, got it, Sarah. It. Come, come on. on come on. You gotta lick more. You guys got a lot still in there. It's Just lick it out. Oh, this is it. You She's drop so some on the ground. I don't know. Right, hey, hey, Dave was there. Dave was there. Drop a lot. Let me see your bottle. Drop your thanks. My favorite argument. Sarah's got it. That's gotta be Sarah. <laughs> That's easy, Sarah. Way. This one's deliberate. I definitely saw it. But he dropped some. I didn't do. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to give the point to Dave. No! Hey! Alright, for the last one for a game point, deciding who has to go to tribal and who is safe. We have Charlie up for Soa again, and we have Dave up for Keely again, and a cup of tapioca. Tapioca! Come on, Come on, that's it. I'm gonna be very strict this time. Don't get it all on the ground. Don't get it all on the ground. Hey, yeah. challenge win. Survivors ready and go! Come on, both aggressively going for as we have every round. It's not necessarily It's just an odd game. And you have to get it off your mouth.
Ooh, who has a big He's on the left. Oh, Charlie. No way. You got it. You got it. Come on. You got it. You got half the cup on the floor. Charlie had it first. Charlie had it first. Okay. I'm going to have to give it to Charlie. Let's go. Let's go. So a tribe wins immunity in the safe for tribal council. Someone come up and get it. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. Charlie, Charlie ate a lot of the yeah, food. I, I did. <laughs> uh, All right, Bailey unfortunately means you're back at tribal council with me next week. I will see you all then. Have a good week and good luck. So we have to go to tribal council tonight, and as far as I'm aware, unless something's changed, God forbid something changes, everyone's going to be voting for Julia. And it is only the right thing to do. She hasn't strategized with anyone except for me. And, you know, even though it would be easy to say, oh, I'll drag her further in the game to use her as a number for me, I would rather keep people here who want to play and who are playing the game. Because, again, even though she's, you know, an extra number, she'll vote the way that I tell her to vote. I would rather play with people who want to play, if that makes sense. I did talk to Dave. I ran in a 5k this weekend. And I talked to Dave. I, he was there. Um, and we talked about Survivor, and he mentioned how he kind of has bad feelings about Leah, and I also kind of had bad feelings about Leah. I think every single person on this entire tribe, except for Leah, considers me to be their closest ally. And that's a good place to be. But it also requires you to talk strategy to every single person. So I've had one-on-one -on -one discussions with everyone this week, except Meredith, surprisingly, even though she's my closest ally. I've uh, talked to everybody this week, and I actually ran into Julia at Camp Hideaway, and uh, it was for the race on Saturday. And we were in a position where we were like basically near each other for a long time. So I felt that in order to seem not suspicious and to seem that I'm not voting for her, I have to just make up something and strategize with her on the fly. So I didn't expect to be talking to her. But there I was, and what I told her was that I don't trust Leah, and that I thought Leah was going to backstab me or Jacob, and that I want her gone. And that's a complete lie. I don't want Leah gone. I want her to stay in the game. As of right now, I'm just riding Dave's coattail. I'm letting him take all the hits, because everyone's looking at Dave more than they're looking at me. And so, most likely, going to vote him out first, unless, unless Dave is pulls something, which I don't think he will. I really think we need to get rid of Dave. I really want to get rid of Dave. <laughs> Sorry, Dave, but I really think he's the biggest threat because Will is the, probably the biggest threat on the other team just because of his social game. If we go down to final three, that's if I'm even there, I think Will and Dave might be the biggest threats for that. I kind of want to work with Will. I think he'd be good. And even if people don't trust him, that's fine with me because we'll vote him out first. And I think he would want to work with me at least for a little bit. And if I have Kayla and Cassandra staying with me, then I'm chilling. And I think that'd be a good two people I can use. And yeah, that's my goal as of now. I just want to, I'm just trying to ride, I'm trying to lay low, ride the coattails of people like Dave and Meredith who are more out there, more prominent threats, and then just wait for my time to throw them under the bus while I have hopefully two people that I can control in the voting process. I've been thinking about my strategy for the merge, but right now I would say that Feely has a very consistent, very cohesive strategy on what we're going to do when we get to the merge. And because I believe the guys on the other team want to work with me and Jacob, that Will and Jonathan and uh, Charlie, the three of them, all want to work with us and probably want to have an all-guys alliance, even if Luke's not a part of it, because he's con. Um, <clears throat> what we can do is essentially trick the guys into thinking that we're with them while we really bring the girls over to our side and we have seven against those three because Will scares me and Jonathan scares me. Especially Will. He seems like a very savvy player and I've got my eye on him moving into this merge or tribe swap or whatever it is you want to consider this. I'm keeping an eye on Will because I know that he's very strategic and he's a very strong player. He blindsided Luke. Uh, with an, him and Jonathan blindsided Luke with an idol in his pocket, so I cannot trust them. In terms of like people I trust the most right now, I feel like Dave and Cassandra are the two people I trust like the most. Um, so, but especially Dave, I've really talked with Dave a lot lately, so I feel like I can trust Dave. Um, though he also is the type of person that might just stab you in the back out of nowhere, but I, 
trusted him last week and he was truthful so i think i'm gonna trust him this week again and just kind of see where it goes all right feely tribe welcome back to tribal council i know this is not what you guys were expecting there was a lot of chatter about potentially a merge but obviously you guys are still a tribe dave can you talk about that of who you guys realized it not the merge it was a tough feeling to say the least uh feely -ing to say the least, I would say, because we were expecting to go into a merge and knowing that we were up 6-5, we could easily take the numbers and vote out SOA systematically one after the other after the other. But because we now know that there was another challenge, we know, oh no, there's a possibility of us going in 5-5 and we're even. And it looks like that's the case right now if there's a merge this week. So it's going to be a lot tougher to play if we don't have the advantage over SOA. Meredith, how do you feel this tribe is doing? Uh as a unified group, you guys were a happy family last week and now you already had a vote off one of the family members. How are you feeling now? Do you feel uh, this loss has hurt you guys' unity? I don't necessarily think it's hurt our unity. I believe that, I mean, we're a strong six. We were a strong seven with Nori, who was just talking to the other tribe a little bit too much. So it really hurts to vote one of the six out. Um, obviously, everyone hopes that it's not them, but someone's going home tonight and unfortunately, like, that's the only thing that has to happen. And Hopefully we can move forward as a strong five um, this coming weekend. If there's a merge, we'll stick together at the weekend, and hopefully we don't lose more. Now, Leah, Meredith was saying that Nori was talking a little bit too much to the tribe, but when you guys got there, you saw that Soa voted out the pers his friend for that exact reason that you guys voted out Nori. What did you guys think when you realized that Luke was gone? I'll be honest, we were kind of shocked, especially because we heard that he had an idol, so we were expecting him to be there. But in the end, I think this ended up being a good thing for both tribes, so I'm kind of glad that it happened the way it did. We're laying our weapons aside, aka Nori and Luke, <laughs> the guys out of lines. We're just laying them both down and playing the game ourselves. I feel like it was a good strategic decision, even though it hurt to vote him out. Because I look up to Nori. He's like my dad. He's the tribe daddy. He's my older brother. So it hurt to vote him out, but I feel like strategically it was the right decision. And it's nice to know that the other tribes on the same page as us voting. Yeah. The that's one true. guy out that's communicating with the tribes. So Jacob, that was the criteria for last week of they just had a tribe relationship with the other person was uncomfortable. How do you guys decide the criteria for tonight's vote? Uh, at this point, I think we're just expectantly preparing for the merge for tribes well. So we're really just thinking what's the best, for, like what we want to do going into the merge for something changes up. Because we don't really see it staying in the same tribes after this week. Now Cassandra, I know uh, the idol idea was brought up with Luke. Has there been any chatter of an idol this week that you guys are concerned about? I know that we still think that the other tribe has one more idol since we know that there were two idols out in play plus the advantage that Jacob had. So we still think that the other tribe has an advantage, but I do not think any of us are concerned about any one of us in this tribe having it. So we'll see as things go forward. <laughs> now, Julia, what were some thoughts? Bring us back to the last week eating some food and stuff. <laughs> I guess you didn't have to eat food. You had to sit on the sidelines for that challenge. No, I, I, said, I said, I said, oh, you sat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm down here. She she the donut. Donuts. <laughs> tell, tell me your thoughts. What were thoughts going through your head last week when you realized your tribe was going to have to be back with me again this week? Uh, it was kind of disappointing because I think everyone really put in a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of effort into <laughs> the challenge. Um, and so it was kind of disappointing that we didn't get to win on that one. Um, but I think we're a strong tribe, and I think we're going to move forward from this uh, tribe of the stronger, and we're going to keep, uh, keep moving along. All right, well, with that, let's get to the votes. I'm sorry, Leah. Yeah. doing this for a really long time. We're finally getting around to it. If anyone has a hidden movie, I don't like to play it. Now would be the time to do so. Okay, let's get to the votes. Julia. Julia, that's three 
Maybe that's Julia and Olivia. Sixth person ordered out of Survivor LU. Julia. Julia, I'm sorry, can get your torch. Julia, the tribe is spoken. Thanks for playing. Hey guys, good luck! I definitely should not have trusted Dave, which I feel like my gut told me, but I went against my gut feeling I trusted Dave. Dave lied to me, so it is what it is. It's Survivor. I feel like I was, they didn't trust me. I don't know if they thought I was going to flip or if they thought I was scheming, which I wasn't for the record, but maybe I gave that appearance. I don't know. It's been super fun. I've made a lot of new friends. I had a good time. I like to say Feely. Uh, good luck. I have no hard feelings, and I hope uh, a Feely tribe member is a champion of Survivor.